In this lecture, and the next one, we will make a 3D text effect, on a sunburst background. We will start by making the sunburst background, using radial gradients. I right-click on the canvas, and choose, Document Properties. I set the canvas to Landscape. I activate Snapping. I click on the Rectangle tool. I drag over the canvas, where it will snap. Now let's create a radial gradient. I click on the Fill and Stroke tab. I click on Radial Gradient. For the inside color, I pick an orange. And for the outer color, I will select red. I want to bring the outer color, more to orange. To go from red, to orange, I will drag the hue to the right. You can also drag, on the outer ring of the color wheel. And for fine tuning, you can click on the plus and minus icons. I can't see the inner gradient color very well, so I will drag its hue, more to orange. I also want the color to be a bit lighter. To do this, I drag the lightness. By dragging the endpoints, I can change the dimensions of the radial gradient. Now that we have our gradient, let's create the sunburst. I click on the star polygon tool. Like the rectangle and ellipse tool, the start tool is a live shape. I can make spikes longer and shorter. And I can increase or decrease the amount of spikes. To get a triangle, I need three corners. And I need the spoke ratio to be 0.5. I drag, then press Ctrl, and rotate until the triangle points down. To use a path effect, it is best to use a regular path. To turn a live shape to a regular path, I go to Path, Object to Path. Now I hold Shift, and drag the side in. I drag the triangle to the center, until I see, Cusp node to Object Midpoint. Now I want to copy and rotate the triangle. I click on Path Effects. From the menu, I choose, Rotate Copies. I click on the Node tool. I drag the rotation origin point, to the midpoint, where it will snap. I want the beams to be larger, so I drag over the points. I select, Show Transformation Handles for selected nodes. I scale the beam, until all beams are outside the rectangle. I set number of copies, to 28. I hold Shift, and drag aside, to adjust the width of the beams. I don't want black, but white transparent beams. So I click on the white swatch. Then I go to my layers, to set the opacity. I set opacity to 50%. To get a better blending with the gradient, I set the blend mode to soft light. Now I want to hide the beams, that go outside the gradient. I right click on the gradient, and choose, set clip group. I drag the sunburst above the clip folder. I name the path, beams. And I name the rectangle, gradient. Now I want to place some sunlight at the top. I click on the ellipse tool, and drag an ellipse. I click on yellow. I set blur, to 50%. I drag the yellow inside the clip group, and place it below the beams. I hold shift, and drag the side, so that the yellow covers the top of the sunburst. I drag the top and bottom handles, to place the sunlight. I name the shape, sunlight, and the layer sunburst. In the next lecture, we will create the 3D text.